Hey guys and welcome to this video, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Sisley Fito Rouge Shine lipsticks. I have two colors. The colors that I picked are number 10 Sheer Nude and number 20 Sheer Petal. And also I'm going to compare this new lip formula from Sisley to the newly released Dior Floral Care Lip Balms. I have a couple of shades from this and also I'm going to compare them to the newly released Chanel Rouge Coco Balms. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here and you love luxury beauty, be sure to join the fun by subscribing. If you're returning, welcome back dear friends. Do let me know in the comment section below if you happen to try these lipsticks or any of the other lipsticks that I'm going to be mentioning today. Do let me know what you think of this new formulations. It looks like all brands started to release this hybrid product, something in between a lip balm, something like tinted lip balms. So this happens to be the trend for this spring summer season. And I decided to purchase only two shades because I know that I'm not going to be able to use that many lipsticks and I want to be a little bit more responsible let's say, and I don't want to purchase products that I'm actually not going to be using. I know that I'm going to be using those too. And I want to show you, first of all, the packaging. It, they come in this beautiful red packaging. And then on the inside, I really like this additional touch from Sisley. The lipsticks actually come in those black velvet cases which protect the lipsticks and I think that they are very useful since this is a luxury brand since Sisley is a luxury brand I think that I really like these velvet cases they are black as opposed to the red cases of the regular lipstick formula by Sisley I'm just going to go ahead and show you so this is the regular lipstick from Sisley they come in this red velvet case and then these are the new ones. Now they are a little bit slimmer. You can see the packaging is actually very elegant with the white and the gold and then on top here you have the red S which stands for Sisley. And I just want to quickly have a look at the amount of product that you're getting. So in the standard Le Fito Rouge by Sisley, the standard lipstick, you're getting 3.5 grams of product and here you're getting 3 grams of product, so a little bit less. And also I suppose that you're going to go through these lipsticks uh, much faster than you're going to go through a Sisley lipstick because this one is very pigmented whereas these are like somewhere in between lip balms and they almost feel, they feel like a tinted lip balm. As I'm talking, I'm going to be inserting close-ups and swatches of the product so that you can get an idea of how they look. I have to say that the lipsticks feel quite heavy, quite weighty, which adds to the luxurious feel of the lipstick. I think that these lipsticks feel very, very luxurious. Right now on my lips, I'm wearing number 20 Sheer Petal, and I have to say that the lip color is very comfortable. I already had the chance to wear the lipsticks for five hours, and I have to say that they feel exactly like a lip balm. The formula is very similar to the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash lipsticks. This exactly I would say that it's exactly the same formula as the Rouge Coco Flash lipsticks from Chanel. They feel very emollient, very hydrating. They are not sticky at all, um, but they definitely offer a great amount of hydration. Now, I would like to compare the new Sisley Fito Rouge Shine lipsticks to the Dior Tinted Lip Balms, the Floral Care Dior Balms. I have two of the Dior Floral Care Lip Balms and one is in the satin finish and the other one is in the matte finish. Now the matte is apparently very different formula than the Sisley Shine lipstick. The Shine lipstick is definitely like, I can compare it to the Rouge Coco Flash lipsticks from Chanel. It has exactly the same amount of um, slip, it is just as emollient, it is just as, as shiny and just as hydrating and moisturizing on the lips. Now this is definitely not a lipstick that is going to survive under a mask, I would say, so, but hopefully we're not going to be wearing masks this um, summer. Hopefully things are going to be back to normal, but this is definitely not a product that I would wear under a mask because it is um, quite shiny. It is just so beautiful, so effortless. You can just apply this one without a mirror and it's very hydrating, very moisturizing. It has a light vanilla scent. The scent of this Sisley Fito Rouge Shine lipsticks reminds me a lot the lip chicks of Shantekai. They have this kind of a light vanilla scent and it's exactly what I feel here, but it's a little bit less fragranced than the 
Chantecai lipsticks, in my opinion. Definitely, it's a little bit less fragranced. This new Sisley Fito Hosh Shine lipsticks come in two different variations. One has teeny tiny almost undetectable sparkles. I find that number 10 is actually very transparent. I definitely have to build it up on the lips and it almost looks like a transparent lip balm. Now the Dior Floral Lip Care Balms in the satin finish definitely feel less emollient compared to the Sisley Fito Rouge Shine lipsticks. These feel less emollient. They are not as shiny, they, are, they feel very hydrating on the lips, but um, the Sisley lipstick is just so emollient. The formula is exactly like the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash lipsticks. When I compare them to the new Chanel Rouge Coco Balms, the Chanel Rouge Coco Balms are definitely more matte. The formulation of the new Chanel Rouge Coco Balms is definitely somewhere in the middle between the matte version of the Dior Floral Lip Care Balms and the satin version. So it's exactly somewhere in the middle. The Chanel Rouge Coco Balms are almost matte. They look almost matte on the lips. Now, one of you actually mentioned that the Rouge Coco Balms feel drying on the lips. I haven't seen that on my lips. I have quite sensitive lips that um, are dry almost all the time and I have to say that I really love, adore this formula from Chanel, this new formula from Chanel. I definitely want to pick a few more colors, but I'm just holding off for a while because I know that there are so many new releases and I just want to see what is going to happen. I just want to buy more products to review for you guys so that you can make an informed decision so that you can, you're going to be able to choose the best products that are going to suit you and that are going to be great additions to your makeup collections. I have to say that it's very hard for me to pick a winner from all these four formulations. These are all different formulations of very similar products. They all are like tinted lip balms. They are somewhere in the middle between a lip care and a lipstick. I would say that the Fito Rouge Shine is definitely the most emollient, the most moisturizing. So if you have issues with them, uh, if you want your lips to be moisturized, very moisturized, then I would say definitely go for them. Sisley Fito Rouge Shine. If you need a lip balm that is going to survive under a mask, then my best choice is going to be the Chanel Rouge Coco Balms because they are, as I said, they are somewhere in the middle between the satin formula of the Dior Lip Balm and the matte formula of the Dior Lip Balm. They are not too matte. They don't look shiny on the lips, they just look very natural. They look like healthy, natural looking lips. And then the matte formula of Dior, it really is the most extraordinary lip balm that I have ever tried in my life because this is a matte lip balm and I have never had such a lip balm. I decided to purchase the shade 999, which is the classic Dior red color. And this one, actually, you can wear this. If you wear this, most people are going to think that you're just wearing a statement red lipstick, which I think is great. I think that the matte lip balms from Dior are going to be excellent. They add quite a lot of color. I think that they're going to be excellent if you match it with the corresponding lipstick. And let's say if some people have quite sensitive lips and some people find it really hard to wear matte lipsticks. So if you always wanted to wear matte lipstick but you were experiencing some difficulties because your lips um, are always too sensitive or because your lips are always too dry, I think that this is an excellent opportunity now to combine and to pair a matte lipstick from Dior to combine it with the matte lip balm because it's still going to look matte on the lips but then it's going to be a lot more moisturizing on the lips it's going to be a lot more gentle now i also wanted to compare the new Sisley Fito Roche Shine lipsticks to the my beloved Sisley Fito Lip Twist because the formula is very similar this again feels almost like a lip balm but this one has a lot more color and i actually happen to have the same color here i happen to have the nude color in the Sisley Fito Lip Twist, and this is my one of my most repurchased nude lipsticks of all times. I have to say that I like this one better because on this one, I almost cannot see the color on my lips. It is almost like a transparent lip balm. This one is a little bit less emollient compared to the sheer lipsticks. So let me go ahead and show you just 
And the Fitu Lip Twist is definitely has more color and I don't have to build up the color to show up on my lips. This is my perfect, absolutely perfect nude color. I'm going to show you how it looks on my lips now so that you can see. So this is how the two lipsticks look and I just want to swatch them quickly. So I'm going to do only one swipe so that you can see the difference in the formula. So this is the Fito Roche Shine and this is the Fito Lip Twist. You can see that this one has a lot more color. And if I start building up this color, the color is going to show up. So this is when I build up the color. Overall, I have to say that I'm very happy with my purchase. I know that I'm actually going to be using these two colors and my favorite one is number 20, Sheer Petal. It just looks so beautiful. Probably it's not going to be as beautiful on camera, but then I was wearing this for approximately five hours and I really enjoy how it feels on my lips and I really enjoy when I went on the terrace um, to see the color in natural light. It is quite cloudy today, so that's why I don't have beautiful natural light, but it is like a very lovely, very innocent color. So I would definitely recommend number 20, the sheer petal, because I think that it's a beautiful color that is going to suit on so many skin tones. And it's just the most gorgeous, innocent pink color. I know that I'm going to be wearing this color a lot. Okay guys, so that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I always appreciate your time so much when you choose to watch my videos. It means so much to me. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and also follow me on Instagram. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.